Hey everyone, it's Nightlight9, and in this video, we are going over the new banner featuring Red 13, the rebirth, question mark. So, it was kind of funny yesterday that uh, I put out a video saying, uh, you know, on my account anyway, it was the death of Red 13. Maybe a little prophetic because it seems that the devs have heard uh, those of us who have had the pleas to make Red 13 viable, and they've released a banner featuring him with a costume and everything. And let's go through what that is and see if it's any good and does it change anything for our favorite dog. Okay, so first I just want to say the costume, I think, looks really good, honestly. Um, I think it looks amazing. And, you know, I had a guy comment yesterday on my video and he was explaining that it actually is quite difficult to design costumes for animals. Uh, it has to do with the way that animals move, you know, and, and all that kind of stuff, the physics of it and whatnot. And, uh, you know, to make it actually look correct. And, you know, especially when they're doing animations and things. And uh, I have to say, I think this looks really, really cool. Um, like, as cool as I could have hoped for a costume for Red to look. I really like it. I love this, like, uh, I don't even know, kind of shirt thing. I don't, I don't know what you call it. I like it. I think it looks awesome. Um, as for the actual stats on it, boost HP, I mean, that's a pretty standard one, and I'm fine with it. The debuff extension, I think this works really well on Red 13, and I'm I'm here for it. I, I think this is a great costume for him, and uh, if you're a fan of Red 13, I think this is, this is a big deal, and I would definitely pull on it. Uh, Canyon Collar. This is... This was harder for me to evaluate. Um, I'm going to look at it at OB6, as I like to do. I will say this, though. If you go to OB10, uh, this 54 boost magic attack, that's a big deal. I mean, that that is quite high. Now, 500% damage uh, seems a little bit low, but it's all enemies. So that's one of the reasons. And later, when we look at Lucia's, you'll see that, I guess... Because of the magic defense, you know, obviously this is just nerfed. And we can compare this to Aerith's Ice Weapon when that came out. That does this exact same thing. It has the exact same quality of our abilities. Um, you know, it's the same kind of damage here. 500% at OB10. Now, <sighs> unlike Aerith's Weapon, when we look here, this has boost to Circle Sigil. And this is my... I actually... I'm going to say earlier... And I'm actually going to say that this is my biggest complaint. This is what, to me, this weapon uh, is probably like an A plus tier. And what would get it to S plus to me is, is this right here. Aerith's weapon had the cure all in this slot, right? So you could put a cure materia in there and it would cure everybody. And if that were here for Red's weapon, I, I would say that alone would make him viable now because not only can he be your debuffer, but he's also a secondary healer and he's already set up to kind of be in that role. Secondary healer would just make it, I don't know, to me way better. The problem with this is you've got magic attack boost, magic attack boost. This is the same problem that I had with Zack's weapon, uh, the twinkling star. Like it's set up to make him like a damage dealer but at the same time, this is not what we want to see on damage dealer stuff, right? 420% uh, at, you know, OB6, that's only like, I don't know, like an extra 100% or something over, like, maybe 140% over a four-star materia. Uh, yeah, it's all enemies, but I mean, mostly this is what we're excited about, right? It's damaging, which makes it, you know, really efficient, but also debuffing the, all the enemies which is great so if instead of you know worrying about this if we set that up to be even more in his favor whether this was maybe you know buff debuff extension or a cure all i think that would make this weapon perfect um i'd be i'd be here for it all day and i think the one plus is that this all enemies thing it does maybe maybe help if eventually you had like two units that had an aoe move like this uh you might be able to time your summons better in boss fights 
where a lot of times you'll use a summon right off the bat just to get rid of the add-ons. Maybe uh, with a couple AoE moves, you could get rid of them and then, you know, do your summons at a more opportune time, maybe after you've had a chance to debuff them further. You know, I can think of a lot of different scenarios where that could play out. Here's what I think. Uh, this does not bring back Red 13 from the dead in my account, but it is a start. I would like to see one more feature or one more great weapon come out for him within the next, like, two banners or a month. That would would make me, that would, that would turn me into a believer. If I could see one more that was worth getting, then I, I would think that he is viable. But right now, I don't think this is quite enough, but it is a start and it puts us on the right path. With the, the buff, um, debuff extension on the Canyon Duds, that's a real strong push for making him viable again, in my opinion, and especially for win comps. I mean, that's a pretty big deal and it absolutely will help people with Mithril Mine, which of course we knew was, you know, kind of coming. Uh, however, we don't actually see a wind down, uh, which I was expecting to get on this banner, I'll be honest with you. Okay, um, the other weapon here is for Lucia, Thunderbird. And I'm personally considerably less impressed with this. Let's look at it at OB6, 480% uh, single enemy. And even here, I mean, it's basically... 40% more damage than what Red's weapon gives, only a single enemy versus all enemies. Now, don't get me wrong, I realize that this is the exact amount of damage here that Aerith's weapon had, the Ice weapon, which did the same thing here uh, to a single enemy. I guess it just feels worse when you're putting it on a banner with another weapon that has all the same perks, even down to this, um, but only does 40% less damage and hits all enemies, which I think is significantly better. It just, that, what? That seems, that seems bad. Like, I, I get that it's also doing this, which is great, right? The, the, the magic defense decrease, potency mid, stacking to high, amazing. Um, but why only 40% more damage than reds at, at OB10 for a single enemy versus all enemies? Um, I don't, I don't, that doesn't make any sense to me. Um, and I ultimately, that's kind of what brings this down a little bit. I mean, I still think it's a fine weapon. And if you main Lucia, then yeah, I would say it's, it's definitely worth pulling for. Uh, it's got the exact same materia slots and, you know, again, going back to, uh, you know, magical damage, which Lucia was lacking. So if you were, you know, somebody who picked up her previous weapon, this holiday revolver well then you'll know that one of my biggest critiques was the fact that it's hard to set lucia up for magic damage this weapon helps that situation quite a bit because now you're gonna have a lot of boost magic attack if you go for this uh, i don't like that they're both circle sigil boosts like they're kind of carbon copies this way would have been really nice to give her a different sigil boost just nitpicking at this point but why not Kind of the point of a banner review isn't it overall i do think this is a fairly strong banner obviously the meta is pushing towards stronger weapons that can do multiple things you know damage plus you know some sort of debuff at the same time and i think you know we're seeing that moving forward so i think within the meta these are these are good weapons they're solid i personally will not be pulling for these um red again i'm not convinced yet it's one weapon in one costume. I need to see one more, right? I need him to be versatile enough, not just with wind, but at least one more element or one, you know, other way, right? Uh, for me to want to be using him. But I do think it's a start. It's a great start in the right direction. Uh, Lucia, you know, I don't play her a whole lot. Uh, so for me, this is a skip, but I definitely think this is a pretty good banner and I don't fault anybody for pulling on it. Uh, although... You know, I can't help but think that they they always like to put these banners, uh, you know, positioned in a way that, hey, if you had trouble with Mithril Mine, and especially when they put the event dungeon out first so that you struggle with it, you struggle with it. And then they were like, here, here's your solution to all your problems. Here's all your headaches gone away. 
And I don't think it's going to exactly just solve your problems uh, unless you kind of get those weapons up pretty good. But they're a great start. And uh, yeah, I'd be curious to know what you guys think of the banner. Are you going to be pulling? Uh, are you excited about Red 13? Is it a rebirth for you? Maybe, maybe not. Subscribe for future content if you're not already. I appreciate each and every one of your support. And as always, thanks for watching.